All right, let's talk about that forecast. A little Ross Caruso's here and a few thousand folks will be downtown, depending on you for a great yeah, forecast. Yeah, you know, no biggie, no pressure. <laughs> um, you, see, you see me once a week and you know you put all this weight on my shoulders, it'll be okay. Uh, the good news is some of the rain that we're going to be looking at, the heaviest, it's going to be mainly in the overnight hours. We're really not seeing even a whole lot this evening, but there will be a little bit of rain lingering around town tomorrow morning between like 8 and 9 o'clock. But that's going to be pretty light compared to what we're going to be dealing with into the overnight hours. Okay. So that's good that news. That's good news. Yeah. So the ground's probably going to be a little wet. But the race, as we head into the morning and afternoon, it's looking like it's going to be pretty nice. And temperatures are going to be cooler, too. If, you know, 80 degrees right now is a little too warm for your liking, things will be cooling off before you know it. So looking at your forecast tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock when the race starts for the Race for the Cure, your forecast showing a little bit of rain at 8 o'clock, cloudy skies as well. But watch as we head into the late morning hours. Temperatures are going to be slowly climbing to the low 60s. We'll see more sunshine, too. We're going to go from mostly cloudy skies tomorrow to mostly sunny skies from 8 a.m. to probably even closer to 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So things are going to be clearing out quickly, but we are going to be dealing with some rain. And that's all to our west right now. We have seen a few isolated showers kind of pick up. This cold front will be coming through, triggering quite a few severe thunderstorm warnings through the southern plains. But for us, we're not looking at at any severe weather, not expecting any strong storms, but still some non severe thunderstorms, possibility, some heavy rain, frequent lightning possible as well. But things are looking pretty dry for us. We have been looking at a few uh, isolated cells that have been tracking through to the south and east, out through Pickaway County, now in Fairfield County, just east of Lancaster. Looks like a brief shower just passed through Zanesville. That's pretty much all we've been looking at for us so far this evening. Temperatures are continuing to stay on the warm side, and with those winds out of the south southwest, we're getting the humidity to bump up as well, so feeling like it's closer to 80 degrees. We already have a handful of places even into the 80s right now. Be Cyrus at 80, Marion at 80, even Springfield over on the west uh, part of the state looking at 80 degrees, 78 in Athens, 73 in New Lexington, and maybe a little cooler in some of those spots that have some of that rain that's passing through. But expecting the showers to be pretty hit or miss up until the early part of the overnight. That's when things will turn a bit more widespread. So Clippers game tonight too, looking like there could be a late evening, late game shower change. Other than that, most of the rain is going to be holding off until after midnight, and that's where things are going to start to pick up. Pretty much from about 1 a.m. to 6 a.m. is when we're going to be dealing with the heaviest of this rain. And again, non-severe, but still some heavy rain that will be coming through and possibly setting up for a soggy start to the weekend for us. Here we are at 8 o'clock. Notice most of the heavy precipitation is to the east. Things will start to clear out through the mid-morning by 9, 10 o'clock. We're dry here in Columbus. Still looking at a few isolated showers to the south and east, and then looking at temperatures for the day on Saturday right around 70 for a high, so looking pretty pleasant as well. Rainfall amounts anywhere from a few hundredths to a couple tenths of an inch. Further south and east, probably going to be dealing with some heavier amounts, maybe close to a half to an inch. So depending on how much of that rain you get, could be the difference in if you're going to be taking care of the lawn tomorrow or Sunday. Either way you slice it, things are going to be nice and warm for us as we head into the end of the weekend. Things are going to cool off a bit going into Sunday morning. Temperatures will be into the mid-70s, though, as we head into the afternoon. And then a stretch of wall-to-wall -wall sunshine on the horizon. High pressure is going to be coming in handy next week, but those temperatures are going to be flirting on either side of 80 degrees, perhaps for the future so don't forget the sunglasses and sunscreen.